So we got an ex-tropical cyclone off the coast. Good morning, everybody. All right, the rain gauge is empty. It's just started raining. Uh, you see the empty rain gauge over there. We're meant to be getting about 100 millimetres of rain out of this, four inches. As this... Uh, ex-tropical cyclone or low depression comes passes over the coast with winds of 150 kilometers an hour so yeah let's see what happens there's a street light on over there be interesting with all these high winds to see if we have another um, copy of what happened last week when all the power went out in uh, the southwest and Perth and all those areas, the Great Southern and uh, the Wheat Belt and yeah basically all the bottom half of Western Australia so we shall have a look I got Ziggy down here testing battery voltage she's going through every single 2 volt battery and they've all been 2.2 2, 2, 2.21 or 2 or 3 they've been within you know, sort of two hundredths of a volt of each other what's that one? 2 2.21 2.21 2.21 2.21 So, and that's what they've all been, every single one of them. We've done the top, she's just getting to the last few there. What happened, what happened was, the batteries, we hopped out of bed this morning, and the batteries were at 83%. Because we, all this cloud came, started to move in yesterday. Uh, come nine o'clock, the hot water service, electric hot water service turned on. <coughs> and started heating the water. And... Um, which was fine and then the missus put the electric kettle on which caused uh, a little bit of uh, um, voltage sag which happens when you load uh, lead acid batteries right up and the inverters went to um, shut down voltage I've got them set to shut down at around 80% which they did do 82% the voltage dropped down to the shutdown voltage and the inverters turned off and um, we're sort of scratching our heads because we didn't realize what was going on and we checked all the isolators everything was fine and uh, then I looked at the voltages which by then had climbed back up everything turned back on again I thought oh, okay that's the problem so we started a little generator and currently we've got uh, 43 amps going into the batteries charging them because we got quite a few days of this all right and we're expecting and there's absolutely no sun in this no you know there's a little bit of power coming out of this cloud because it's really thick and uh, we're expecting a hundred mil of rain they, they've, they've forecast over the next three four days Basically, we've got this all next week. All next week. Today is what? What? What, what day is it today? Sunday. Sunday. And we've got this all next week. Sunday. So off-grid systems work absolutely fantastic. Um, the batteries, even after all these years, are still keeping perfect balance. There's no balance in them, balances in them. Uh, they're still performing like brand new. Only thing I have on these batteries to keep the them working well is the uh, battery extra okay and 
that just sits there and works and that helps keep the batteries in tip-top condition um, they work brilliant it's been on there since the batteries were brand new and after what five six years five years don't know it's been a while the batteries are still performing like brand new absolutely brilliant but uh, last winter we went through 30 litres of fuel yep. so we bought 30 litres of fuel for this winter it's in the shed already because as you know when the power goes out all over town all the service stations have no power as well so we already get all of our fuel and everything in and um, if, if we need be we can start the generator um, it's as simple as that really isn't it so that's the beauties of off-grid living I mean if I've got to spend uh, 30, 30 litres of fuel a year for power um, just to help top my batteries up I mean that's nothing that's that's not even um, one bill's worth of line fees okay that's absolutely nothing so that's the beauty of going off grid um, and that's also the, the the things you have to put up with but that's the first time I've ever lost that's the first time I've ever had these units shut down to protect the battery because that's how I've programmed these units so if anything um, happens or the battery volts get too low low the units will shut down and of course what happened when the battery sag stopped the batteries bounced back the units turned back on and then I knew exactly what was wrong um, and the new the new units uh, do that even better because these are really old these units now they're about seven years old um, and the new the, the new units that I've got inside from the last video the uh, 5048 MKs I think they are work even better and of course the midnight classics just sit on the wall and work and they've done a lot of work and the Victron's working okay as well um, so yeah I've got no complaints but uh, you know you've got to show what happens and, and tell you why that happens um, and that's it you know if you've got to burn a little bit of fuel to top your batteries up every now and then you do it you know but uh, this is a the remnants of a tropical cyclone and it, well it's really now just a really slow moving low intense low depression system that's affecting you know all the bottom of western australia right now it's brilliant and we could do with the rain and the grass could do with the mow but anyway all right that's it as an update for you keep well everyone i'll let you know how much rain we end up in the rain gauge in another video bye for now